Metal Gear Survive. We uh, we all watched the 15 minute gameplay trailer. Uh, pretty universally pan trailer. Uh, I think it was like last time I saw it was 14,000 dislikes and then yeah. as opposed to a couple hundred likes. Mm. Uh, and I think like the, the immediate question is, does the Metal Gear name on it hurt it? Uh, more than the Metal Gear name, I think it's piggybacking off of the engine and the, the, the game that was built <laughs> for Metal Gear Solid Five. I think that's the problem. Uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, you know, that was a game that had the Metal Gear name. It was very different, but a lot of people liked it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the problem with Survive is like, you know, you take this game that had these great interactions, Metal Gear Solid 5 I'm talking about here, you know, with NPCs that were pretty smart and you had a lot of these moments that were really difficult to get over and you had a lot of different ways of dealing with it. Now you're you're going up against slow ass zombies who can't think for themselves and you have someone else helping you along the way, like not just an AI co-op buddy, this time a real co like, do you really need two people to take down a zombie? <laughs> That's when there's like four and like a huge landscape, like it looks so boring and uninteresting and add it, add that to the fact that they're piggybacking off of a different game. That I think is the problem that people are. It's a problem I'm having. It doesn't, it does not look like an interesting game beyond the couple of weapons they showed in the trailer, but a couple of weapons doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It looked like the mechanics of Metal Gear Solid five or ground zeros thrown into, like you said, kind of this bland zombie game. It looked like they were just trying to take a base and then defend it. Like like world at war kind of, uh, you know, black ops zombie style, I guess. I I mean, what we're seeing here looks nice. The animations are cool. Like when they, when action is happening, the effects are great. This is freaking boring. What are we looking at right here? (laughs) Yeah. They talked for a while. It was in (laughs) Japanese, so I had no idea what they were talking about. I'd have to ask Justin or something, but that was the, yeah, see, like, look at this. What a, <laughs> it's stealthing have, up on do zombies. Do you have to sneak up on a zombie that slowly? No, just use a silence yeah. handgun and you're fine just so they don't... Oh, oh, no, there's one biting my leg. Good thing my friend is here to kill with it. With a spear and full Kevlar body armor. Oh, that's the, those are the clubs that Kojima was talking about. The clubs? <laughs> oh, man. We don't. Need, that was part of the death training thing. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, um, and then, there, so, like, one guy's a machete. Someone, like, the someone else had a bow and arrow. Now there's the spear you see there. I don't get why these what situation these spec ops soldiers found themselves in where these are the weapons they're using oh just my survival because mother base oh you want to know how they got the weapons mm-hmm. i don't know well, they were transported to a different dimension because this so. is the, this is the remains of mother base yes yeah, so at the end of ground zeroes a wormhole opened up <laughs> and transported all the survivors to a different dimension how dare i not know that <laughs> i don't know what is this do you think what is this, this was just called like <laughs> what else I don't know what else you could call it but if it wasn't Metal Gear Survive I, I agree it would still look kind of boring like a stealth game like a, it does it's like a sandbox stealth game almost like a splinter cell with zombies and that sounds like a, a, a very very weird combination it looks it and I have to think that they're just I'm not yeah. seeing any reason why these zombies are a threat. <laughs> they're just standing there like idiots. They're minding their own business. And and I am so hell-bent on not disturbing their business before I kill them, apparently. They had uh, they show like environmental dangers, like you pushing zombies onto these like road spikes. They showed later on, the, like the zombies actually start charging the base. And see, there's the Fulton recovery system still. Uh, I wonder if the sheep just becomes currency. Oh, it's attracting the zombies. I don't know. Ooh. I don't get... Ooh. I don't get Metal Gear Survive. It seems like I think it's universally disliked right now. And maybe universally it's too hyperbolic. It's, a, but. It, it's okay. At this stage, it appears to be a cheap cash in using one of the most overused themes in gaming as of late on top of a game that was kind of really cool in its own right with an iconic name attached to it. Yeah. Too. So this is standalone. <laughs> yeah. This, this seems like a poor. It's going to be $30 game. Yeah, they said okay. somewhere in the vicinity of Ground Zeroes, right, which was yeah. 30. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's sometime next year. I wonder how long they've been working on it. But I, I don't even get the overarching. Again, the trailer I saw was, I don't know, if was there uh, an English version for the trailer? Because I was watching the Japanese version. I don't get the overarching uh, like kind of resource management. Maybe it's just like Metal Gear Solid where you're extracting animals for hunting and then just gathering intel and whatnot, which I don't know how, what good intel would do you in a zombie world, but who knows? <laughs> Zombies like brains. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's like, Metal Gear has all like Metal Gear Five had the uh, the ghosts who were who were the uh, characters that were kind of almost like zombies. I thought they were gonna play off that. Yeah, I mean they were those guys were fast and strong. Those were serious threats. Like I, the moment you saw them, it was like the ch- you didn't feel like you had to run away because the game was like here's a chase scene. That was your only freaking option was to mm-hmm. get the hell away from them. Here, uh, yeah, what, what are we doing now? It's like a horde mode. Uh, and yeah, they're capitalizing on that oh, as well. It's not even a horde. I mean, I guess technically, but. The odds seem so stacked in your favor. I haven't seen the zombies pose a single threat. I got, I don't get it. Yeah. 
No, it doesn't look anything substantial. And maybe the price tag is kind of indicative of that. Yeah. But it's funny to think also, like, not to rag on Middle Gear Solid Five, but like, like the distance already for for enemy AI to see you is pretty generous, right? Mm-hmm. Like, just just to add in a dumber. I mean, you said it, Peter. Just to add in like a dumber form of AI is just like. <laughs> Where's the stealth? I don't need this. <laughs> that was just like a scene from The Walking Dead. I think that's actually transposed from The Walking Dead when uh, Rick is just kind of stabbing people through a chain link fence for about an, an episode's worth. What is on their head? Um, the crystals. Yeah, the crystals. <laughs> right. I, I See, forgot. I can't tell I if you actually... I'm at the point where I that might actually be a thing in this universe. Because there's a guy with like full-on... Crystals. Hurt Locker armor, and then this zombie <laughs> just <laughs> drunkenly tripped over the window. I want this game. I want every game to be good. This yeah. doesn't look like it has a chance. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll see what happens with this. We I think that certainly will. Probably enough Metal Gear Survive. Uh, tell us what you think. Whether you're interested in it, what the hell is going on in this game, in the comments below. 